what's interesting about Carlingford is it has so many examples of medieval built heritage. You have two fine castle houses, Taft's Castle and the, um, the Mint as it's known, although although um, we had a charter to coin mint, uh, to mint coinage, um, it was really used more as a merchant's house. You also have the Church of the Holy Trinity up on the hill, which is originally 13th century and is now a lovely heritage centre, housing a permanent exhibition of the town. I'm a leprechaun whisperer, I'm the last of them. Uh, I'm also a shaman, so I, I'm a conduit between the human and the spirit world, and that's how I communicate with them. It's like an out-of-body experience, that's what it is. If, if you don't understand that, you can read up about out-of-body experiences, except that I can induce that, and, uh, and that's how I communicate with them. There are two tunnels here. This one here travels underneath Carlingford Lock over to Northern Ireland, over to a place called the Fairy Glen. And there's a second one on the right hand side that goes underneath the medieval village of Carlingford up to the Cooley Mountains. And every morning as the sun rises, over in the over in the Moor Mountains, the leprechaun or the fairy and earth and tree spirits come up through this tunnel and leprechaun spirits come down through the other tunnel and they dance together around the rocks around here each morning. They're on lockdown at the moment and we're hoping, they're hoping that uh, that we'll be free in June and whatever to start again and to go up and see them and whatever. They don't, they didn't, none of them got the virus. I might need a new chain. Right. And then we'll just align the gears when the wheel is back on. Uh, we made a lot of adaptations for COVID. We extended the compound, created an entrance and exit. We have all the hand sanitizers, but right now we don't have any customers because they're limited to a five kilometer radius from their houses, even to go to exercise. Unfortunately, since the pandemic last March started, we've had, um, it's been a complete collapse. We have no visitors um, and most businesses have no income. So it's a very sad state of affairs. We just can't wait to get back open again, hopefully this summer. So this house behind me is where Joe Biden's ancestors left Ireland. Uh, we're here in Grenor in, White, in the village of Whitestown. Um, their ancestors left after the famine. The village was a clotter village and pre-famine most people had to leave because there was no food here and there was no prosperity for anybody. Come on now. 
you were you produced something good out of this pub. Come on. So yeah, it's great to see that Joe is the president of America now, and I would never have thought that me from the northern side, Dom and T, and Torlick here from the southern side, Cooley, that we would have had such a close connection. We're very proud that Joe come from Cooley. His ancestral home is now the president of America. It's an unbelievable feeling and the community is so proud of him.